typically my car is right there. When Phil Westover opened his garage door last weekend to find his car missing, at first he thought it was a prank. I was just astonished that it was stolen. Phil is a victim of a crime that is way up this year around the Twin Cities, auto theft. In St. Paul, car thefts are up 11% so far this year, but in Minneapolis, they're up 41%. That's 787 more car thefts this year than this time last year. In Bloomington, where Phil lives, police told him stolen cars usually turn up and that they would call him. Sure enough, two days later, they called and said, hey, we found your car. Found it in Robbinsdale, crashed into an apartment building after a chase with police. The three suspects got away. When Phil checked out the car at the impound lot, he was surprised to see the amount of effort the thieves gave to disguise the car. They took the license plates off the car and they replaced them with, you know, dealer plates. They spray painted rust spots and removed automaker decals. Phil is thankful his car theft didn't involve a carjacking, which Minneapolis and St. Paul police both say is happening at an alarming rate, often involving young teens, like the 12 and 13 year olds accused of leading police on this high speed chase in August after sticking up the owner. But Phil is disappointed to learn he's on the hook for the $500 plus towing and impound fees. I was the victim. I thought somebody else may cover that fee. Phil's insurance agent tells us that's the case for victims who have just liability insurance. But doing research, Phil found the Minnesota Crime Victim Emergency Fund, which was able to pay that cost. He hopes sharing his story helps others who find themselves in the same unfortunate position he's in. Hopefully we can you know, get a little bit of visibility to this so that other people can find that this source of help is available. Lou Raguse, CARE 11 News. Now, carjackings get classified as a car theft and a robbery. Robberies in Minneapolis are up 34% this year.